Over the last eight years of being a professional content creator, specifically in the automotive area, the problem is as automotive content creators is we spend a lot of money paying for lenses and then we put these filters in front of them that degrade the quality or change the color. Or if you're like me, you're an automotive videographer and photographer at the same time and you need a VND and a CPL to cut reflections and light. It's taken a long time to find the perfect lens filters. I've gone through a whole bunch. We've got moment we've got k and f filters i went through all the cheap amazon ones i spent money on nissi and i think i finally landed on the perfect filters for automotive content creators now the reason i say perfect is not because it is perfect but i think it is the best one so far that i've found to use well in today's video i document my experience with subaru canada while we document the Crosstrek Wilderness, and I'm gonna to showcase to you guys the filter that I used on this project. Hopefully it'll answer some questions for you guys and solve some problems for you guys as it has for me. Subaru Canada invited me to go out and document their Crosstrek Wilderness experience with some of their top sales reps in Canada. The experience was an absolute blast and seeing what this vehicle was capable of was actually truly inspiring. And I'm really grateful for the experience because Subaru Canada really treated us very well this week. So in automotive photography, it is incredibly important to have what is called a CPL filter, a circular polarizing lens filter. And what that does specifically in automotive videography and photography is it cuts the reflections off the shiny parts of the car. So you put this on the front of your lens, you twist it, and then that's how you start to cut reflections. It'll only kind of cut reflections off of half of your image. So that's why you have to spin it to get the right setting. The second one we're gonna look at is a variable ND filter. And the way that this works is you put it on the front of your lens, and you spin it to get correct exposure or alternatively to darken or brighten your image like I did to brighten mine right now. People ask though, can you stack an ND and a CPL together so that you can darken your image and cut reflections? Yes, you can stack NDs and CPLs, but it does start to compromise the image. So that's where this filter that I'm using today comes in. It is the perfect pairing of an ND and a CPL filter to cut reflections and get correct exposure, which I'm gonna show you guys how I use it in this video. So as a part of the Subaru Wilderness event, they actually brought us to a track which is insane and I'm really hoping they'll let me drive. But it's a great way to showcase the lenses, the filters, all those things. I'm hoping we get to drive this one. Hello. So this is the Freewell CPL and variable ND filter built in all in one. And I have really been enjoying using this, not only because it magnetizes really nicely onto the front of your lens, you can then spin this around to get your CPL where you want it. You lock that CPL in with this little screw here. And then we have a three to seven stop variable ND. Now I'm curious if they did three to seven because I don't know if you've experienced this, but sometimes when you start crossing filters together you get those X's and this filter has that to some extent as well but I think this is a little bit of the compromise that we need to have a filter that does both jobs and I think that's probably why we don't have a one or two stop variable ND is I'm assuming don't take my word for it but that's when maybe we would get those weird crosses let me get really practical with you guys so I'm gonna show you guys the car and then show you how the variable ND works so we need to get proper exposure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna twist our exposure meter until we see that it lands at zero. So this is what it's saying is nice and proper exposure. Now what's great about this particular lens filter, the Freewell filter, is that it has a CPL built into it. So for automotive videographers like myself, we can then spin the CPL filter so that we get great reflection cutting as well. So you can set your exposure. You can see that the sky looks nicer. You can see that it's cutting off different reflections on the car as well. So this filter is honestly something that automotive content creators have been waiting for for a long time is the ability to cut out reflections and cut out light with the same filter because we've always been stacking and stacking filters is actually, it's not like a bad thing, but it's not a great thing for your camera because you get this weird like Xing and overlapping on it. So we want to try and avoid that.
we have made it to Enduro Park, Canada, which is typically an off-road motorcycle park, but they've taken the Outback Wilderness here to really test it because the approach angles and its ride height and all this stuff makes it a pretty capable vehicle. Actually pretty crazy what it can do here. I'm also exhausted because I've been chasing it around with muddy and rocks. Mud and rocks, it's just been crazy, but you gotta do what you gotta do for the shot, right guys? We would not be able to do this with, with my golf. <laughs> Definitely not. Hell, the approach angles are too steep for me. Ah. One thing that I really like about the Freewell filters is they tend to replicate color very well. It tends to not degrade or put a weird hue onto it. They do rep themselves as true color. So I do recommend these and I've used plenty of Freewell filters previous, all of which they sent to me, none of which I've paid for or been paid to say anything about. I just genuinely enjoy these the most. The other thing that I like about them is that they do send all of the step up rings that you need in the pack that this one comes with. So whether you've got a 67 millimeter diameter all the way up through 82, they cover you with the rings that you'll need to get this to fit onto your lens. If you guys are into more creative photo or video editing, they also have neutral streaks or snow glow mist that you can magnetize to the front of that piece as well. As an automotive content creator, I think these glow mists add tons of cool textures to like tail lights and headlights adding that bloom kind of like you're getting up here or if you want the streaks if you want that kind of like fake anamorphic look you can get that with this if you guys are interested in taking a look at the freewell pack i'll leave it down below for you guys i'm not getting paid by them or paid i don't even think i have an affiliate link if you guys have used them before or found filters that you really appreciate leave them down in the comments so other content creators like us can get to know which ones are Good to try out. As well, I've just dropped my brand new fall presets and they're the last fall presets you'll ever need. Go check them out. There's videos there to show you guys how to use stackable presets. It's a game changer, but I really appreciate your guys' time. If you enjoyed this video, you might like that one there. Consider subscribing and I do hope I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.